purpose of getting top eight. Right, right. I think Light maybe missed one. I think one, missed I think. Summit, and then I think Pound. Yeah. But Go. Summit, I'd say that doesn't really count. It's no, Summit does not count for DGO. For most, well, yeah, that too. But, you know, but yeah, yeah, just yeah. Counts for not... Uh, or Definitely a different count environment. Or does a top eight either. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's the most stacked event you could ever hope to see. Um, but either way, uh, yeah, there are a lot of really, really cool players out there in Smash Ultimate. Everyone's kind of making their stand. They want to do it for the first time, right? They want to be in that yeah. top 10 PGR on the first ranking. Of course, a lot of teams are going to be looking at that as well. So you see the fire lit underneath some free agents. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, Mystery definitely um, has a sponsor of his own with Demise, but still looking to get as far as possible a Marth Lucina main Pretty much since he has ever started playing, right? Yeah, he started with Marth and Brawl. Yep. Played Marth throughout much of Smash 4 with a little bit of Sheik on the side, then started switching over to Lucina in about the last year. Yep. Which I think was the right call, and it's certainly the right call here in Ultimate. I think there's really no room for debate which of the two is better. Yes. Diet Soda, though, going to be going with Cloud, a character that a lot of people have shied away from, just like we were saying about Sonic. Yes. A bit yes. less polarizing, still solid overall, but I really want to see what he's able to bring to the table against Mr. E, who is just a monster at giving this character off the stage. Yeah, up B out of shield, definitely um, probably the biggest buff Cloud yes, got. No um, question about that. Yeah, it does a, if you get hit by everything, does a solid 18%, and you cannot tech the uh, grounded hit if you started getting hit on the ground. Diet Soda kind of going in right now. Yeah. Cloud, of course, having this excellent anti-air option. Great out of shield punish with the up B. It's very difficult for a character like Lucina who really thrives from these jump ins. Yeah. The up B out of shield is so fast and it has so much range to that scoop. Uh, oh, you're not. Oh, dang. Whoa, All right. Hiding yeah. in the corner right there. Yeah, that was really, really good DI. But right now, what an impressive start here to Diet Soda. I definitely think Cloud is on the tier of like zero suit. Like, you're still a really solid character, but overall, you, you got hit pretty hard. Whoa, wow. hold up. That down smash actually not only was fast enough to come out, but scooped him from that far away. It's got, still got that range. And right I now you got to watch out for the dash attack. Oh, man, the cross slash is even can kill too. But the, the dash attack, I like to, like to call it the, uh, the grounded up air. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. It's literally that same hitbox just yep. <laughs> altered 90 degrees. <laughs> oh, there's the forward air. That's going to be your life. And, man, that move is... Uh, very great for spacing. Um, we see that instead of uh, Nair. Nair got hit pretty hard in terms of range. Yeah, rest in peace for that move. Somebody tweeted, I swear it gets smaller every time I play the game. <laughs> and I've started to notice that too. These ninja nerfs, man. <laughs> Dude, I feel the same way. <laughs> like sometimes I'll be like, maybe I'll give Cloud another chance. I'm like, dang, did Nair get smaller? <laughs> you really trying to discourage me to play this character or what? Feels like it only exists in the back behind him. Yeah. <laughs> like where it first comes out. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Mr. E, so scary off the stage against this guy. Oh, and enough air drift for Cloud to get yeah. back with just that directional air dodge. That was a terrifying situation for Cloud. Oh, wow. my. Wow. <laughs> Loving these recoveries from Diet Soda. Yeah, that was so far. And um, with that really good, uh, Cloud just has really good air drift. So with that comes a really good directional air dodge. Ooh, He's been leading Mr. E for the entirety of this game, too. He's about to pop that limit as well. Yes, the down air is enough to put him over the edge. Oh, oh, I like I like the drift back too. Like he, he dashed to the right and then did he still got punched with the fair, but nonetheless, great positioning here. Recovery going high. No counter coming out for Mr. E. Nah, it looks like um, Jack or sorry, Diet Soda kind of threw him off there. Yeah, but going for the up B rather than the directional air dodge that he's been falling back on for much of the set. Another great option that you can combine with up B is the spot dodge with the attack cancel. So spot dodge into a really quick frame three attack, being that up B, really really good. Really wait wait wait, frame three. I, I thought it was seven. Oh, that's limit, limit, my bad. I, I think limit is frame five. Yeah, that was my bad. It uh, is frame seven. All right, I'm just gonna hit ultimateframedata.com anyway because it never hurts to check. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, it might be like invincible on three, but still hits on seven. I don't know. I got um, I got mixed up because in Smash Four you got the invincibility frame three. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. But I think in this game you get the invincibility frame five. Okay, good shield grab here. Yeah, up throw not gonna be quite ready to kill Mr. E just yet. Back air spacing, and yeah, that's the classic, man. Uh, cloud ledge trapping, still really good. Up B, wow! Up B out of shield, killing at 180. That's pretty solid. That is a good move, man. Oh, dang. And, wow, I, I think he had his jump there, but just uh, thought he was going to be able to make it back with the up B. Didn't want to burn resources. So, I mean, just like that, it's going to be an even game. The down tilt catching the air dodge there. Okay, there's the back air. Oh, a nice bait coming out from Mr. E. No punish, though. Oh, cross slash doing mad damage in this game. Yeah, 23.9, I believe, fresh. Thanks yeah. to the good old 1v1 bonus. 
Yeah, and it's uh, it's absolutely insane too because it has so much range. It's a great anti-air tool. I mean, even in Smash Four, some clouds would uh not charge it all the way just so they would have that available to them in neutral. But it's just such a good neutral tool. Back air shield, yep. And also, just charging limit, great way to get out of tumble. So yes, yes. There is definitely a legitimate strategy to not charging your limit all the way. <laughs> just did it. <laughs> such a good anti-air man. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Catching those jumps, catching those jumps, man. So much percentage as well. And right now, man, Diet Soda doing a great job. This this is best of three, so Mystery has to be very careful. Every game, very, very valuable here. Yeah, going down one is not good in a situation like this at all. Yeah. Okay, what's the ledge trap with the limit as well? He's got to so use scary. it or lose it. Yep. <laughs> two choices. Oh, and he's just going to throw it out. I was waiting for the up B out of shield, but Mr. E clearly had no intentions of touching Cloud's block at all. Okay, but here's the ledge trap. Mr. E has to survive one more. The back airs are coming. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. There's a snap, yep. Ooh, that wow. forward air, it's longer than Lucina's sword, man. Yep. Great answer in this matchup. Oh, and he's been just off the mark so many times with this back air on the neutral getup. Limit online once again. The back airs again, the roll. Oh, dang, we're playing Smash 4. Oh, <laughs> and it reached. <laughs> All right, crowd popping off for Diet Soda. Probably, I mean, I, I'm going to take a guess, and he's pro probably from Georgia. I see one of the dudes popping off for him wearing a UCF, University of Central Florida hoodie. Okay, okay. So maybe that's where he's from. I don't know. Somebody hit me up on the Twitter machine again, at MaxSketchum underscore, at GSM Korean with a zero for the O. Yeah. And let us know where this dude hails from because he is quite good, man. Mr. E, one, oh, he is number 12 on the North Carolina PR. North All right, Carolina. well, yeah, uh, they already let us know. All right, sick. So, yeah, shout Thanks, out to guys. North Carolina, shout out to South Carolina. These guys, very helpful, very prideful of their players, too. Yeah, that's hype. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, you know, just the Carolinas, they'll get a lot of exposure. So I like to see a lot of them traveling down here to Georgia. I mean, very, very close for them. And this is probably, like, one of the biggest tournaments that they can attend, you know, in terms of exposure. So definitely coming out here and you got you got to make sure your region performs really well, too. You got to get here and you got to get those Ws. Yeah, Momocon certainly great opportunity for the southeast yeah, definitely yeah. criminally slept on region man i can tell you like 10 other ones off the top of my head too but of course we are here in their home turf so got to give credit where it's due diet soda's cloud is really really clean though i like it i think yeah. this player's got a lot of potential oh yeah for sure i i love the back airs the uppies out of shield looking really clean here for diet soda oh going high and yep mr e ready to cover that was able to drop shield in time and get there with the dash yep of course, being able to forward smash out of dash, new addition to ultimate. I mean, you can do it in melee too, you just had a cross first. But since Brawl and Smash 4, you know, you we're not able to see that ever. They made punishing stuff like that a little harder. You have to Foxtrot individually and then cancel the end of your Foxtrot. Exactly. Yeah. Misery doing a really good job. Um, he fell. He actually fell out of one up B. If you DI out and even combined with Smash DI out, you can get out of the last and final hit coming down yep. um, and maybe get a punish or just take less damage in general. Always something you want to go for when you're playing up against Cloud's upkeep. You saw that shield whittling down for Mr. E. Oh, man. Tried to go for the chase down and maybe break it, but no, not going to have any such luck. And this is running out of Diet Soda's hands for sure. Mr. E looking so much better in the second game. I was looking like the classic smash for edge guard there, the Lucina down tilt on the recovery. There's up out of shield, but right now I just feel like Diet Soda was put in a position where he just, he he wasn't a deficit, he was really efficient hard for the kill, and Mystery taking clear advantage of that, but the down smash will bring it back here for Diet Soda. Yeah, gonna cancel that spot dodge a couple frames early too. Oh yeah, spot, spot dodge, so, so good in this game. Ooh, I like that, running right back, reacting to that air dodge, getting the meaty damage of cross slash. Ooh. Wow, just belligerently throwing out these up keys too. Ooh, even the limit one Yo. doesn't matter. Tack that damage on. Yep. All right, Diet Soda actually kind of in a good spot. Only 60% on Mr. E, but, you know, well-placed limit at 90 by the edge. Certainly enough to do it. Ooh, casting that tech roll in, though. Mr. E all over it. Yep, ooh, there's a spot dodge on the cross slash. And unless you hit the cross slash on that first hit, you cannot continue with the rest. Exactly. So I like uh, Mr. E's in that spot dodge on that move. Yeah, it's the key difference between cross slash and dancing blade. Yes. Oh, man, if, if he could, though. <laughs> I don't want to live in that world, honestly. Now that I don't play the character anymore, I'm good on that. You might have to be switching back. <laughs> All right, so All right. here's the back air electric. I feel like Diet Soda has conditioned a lot. Now now we're seeing him taking advantage of it because, of, oh, wow, the double. Eric, or Mr. E was ready for that. 
Yeah, of course, frame one invincibility on Dolphin Slash in the air, able to pop out of the blade beam in between re the repeating hits. Yes. Got himself back to safety. Kind of a tough break there for Diet Soda, but still put up a good fight in the later half of that game. It was yes. really rough for him in the beginning, but you can see Mr. E made some really key adaptations, just not uncomfortable with going off stage or chasing him down. I think he tightened up his neutral a lot. He was just noticing, you know, the aggressive forward air is not going to work out against Cloud. Yeah, I, I definitely like the switch up from um, Diet Soda. He was, he's getting a little bit more aggressive on the, the block strings, just like, oh, I hit your shield. You kids just can't jump for free. I'm willing to throw out the up B right after and all that jazz. And he was doing a really, really good job. I even like, I really like the blade beam. And that's a very common setup we see from the, from Clouds using that limit. They set up the blade beam right on the ledge. And it's strong enough that you can even get untackable um, kills off of that. But Mystery, knowing of that, using that double up B to just get out of that situation and was able to close it out. Yeah, not many characters have a frame one invincible aerial option like Dolphin Slash. So you're yeah. only going to see that in the select few matchups and situations. Pretty sweet option to have. It is, <laughs> man. I, I can't lie. <laughs> I ain't trying to front. <laughs> I will never tell you that that's not crazy. And even just out of shield, too. Um, we, yeah. we haven't really seen Mr. E really utilize it. But to be fair, the, the Buster Sword's uh, quite long. And yeah. uh, Diet Soda definitely having that spacing on point as every great uh, Cloud player should have. Yeah, Cloud, one of the few characters that can make all of his moves safe against Dolphin Slash out of shield. He's kind of nuts. Yes, Frame that's absolutely crazy. Box, bro, with that whole Falchion breach, you know? Yeah, yeah, Cloud, I mean, all the shield push and range on forward air and back air just makes it very tough to do that. All right, so we got ourselves a set here. Diet Soda opening up really strong, but Mystery really uh, taking control of this set, or at least the momentum coming into this game number three. We'll be on Pokemon Stadium, though. Oh, and he's going to fall out of the up B again. You have a lot of time because of all the hit lag on those starting two hits. Yes. You can actually get yourself out. Yes, yes. consistently getting out of it now. Man, I hope you're singing the praises of that move, but it looks like once you figure it out, it's kind of fraudulent. Yeah, uh, Loki kind of sad, but <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes, you know? Not everyone I don't think it always be like it is, but it do. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, down air. Side B from Cloud. That was super unfortunate. Diet Soda losing his ace in the hole right there. Oh, oh Mr. He's so close. I feel like maybe Forward Tilt would have been better in that situation because Forward Tilt starts from underneath to try and catch that directional air dodge. Oh, but nonetheless, we are going to get the Gimp here. Diet Soda not even able to make it back, and that's one thing that has always haunted Cloud, even in the previous iteration, that recovery is suspect. That's being nice about it, too. <laughs> it actually is. Oh, wait, Mr. still. E. Okay, he gets the double jump back. Yeah, the up B wasn't safe on hit there. But, but look at all this damage he's still getting, and he still has his ledge trap, too. Like, Misery is just positioning himself so, so well. And ooh, the boosted tilt as well. Oh, wait, no. Super F tilt is the official yeah. name. Oh, Super F tilt. Super nice. F tilt, yeah. One day, um, when, we when we discover more tech, we'll call it Super Saiyan F2. <laughs> if you could get like a double slide, yeah. Yo. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh dang. Wow. Soda thinking he was a bit higher than he actually was. Yeah. Or maybe more to the left than he actually was. Not sure. Yeah, and I know that you can actually snap going down at a little bit higher for limit and regular. Yes. Oh, dang. Don't go into the light, Mystery. Do not go into the light. Ooh. He was tempted, man. Yeah, he, he definitely wanted that falling fair. <laughs> he, he ate the apple, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he ate the peach in the garden oh. here at Momocon. Oh, yeah, there we go. The the, the Forbidden Peach. <laughs> yeah, got to tie it all together. <laughs> yeah. All right, Diet Soda, though, down but not out. Yeah, he realized the timer was ticking on that limit. Had to just do something about it. All right, a couple of that Mr. E has been unable to get out of. I guess, really, it's a lot more reliable if you start hitting with the very inside of it. Yeah. Okay, the, ooh, let drop double jump fair. Let drop double jump, pretty risky option for Cloud. If you get called out, if you get hit out of it, you are off stage with no double jump, and that's not a fun time. But... You guys still got to mix it in. Keep your keep your opponents on, on their toes. You got to throw the check out. All right, hold up. We have a chance for Diet Soda. He takes the stock right now. 85, not the worst deficit in the world. Mr. E just walked right on the stage, dude. Like, he, that was baller. <laughs> okay, got the falling up air. Diet Soda, what do you have? How are you going to close the door on this second stock? Wow. Mr. E is so good at not getting hit by back air. When does this guy get hit by back air? I don't think we've seen... One land right? in the entire set. Wow, just walking up and up tilting, maybe just reading the jump from Diet Soda, and this should be it. Oh no, Mr. E gonna back off a little bit. Forward tilt, not enough. Yeah, usually after that directional air dodge, if you position yourself correctly, you can pull the trigger and get the stock. But right now he can't pull the stock here. Wow, again, that directional air dodge, such a great buff for Cloud just recovering in general. It gives him a lot more mix-ups. Oh, oh, there, there it is. Finally gonna go through, and what does he have? Is he just gonna wait? No. Tries to bite off a little more than no. he can chew right there. And that's going to be the end of Diet Soda. Mr. E cleaning it up 2-1 to one after a pretty awesome game one yes. from our North Carolina hero. But 
course, this guy, number four in New York for a reason. Extremely talented player. He's been doing it with the same character all this time. And that loyal.